Okay, we have another question here from Melanie and Melanie uh, asks, my Google Workspace has been suspended, uh, submitted a review which is in progress, but my business is suffering in the meantime. My business email was inundated with spam, never from the same address. How can I fix this and update and reinstate my Google search info? Melanie, sorry to hear that your Google account is switched off right now and not working. That sounds pretty serious. Now, obviously first step is to either get in touch with Google support directly or get in touch with our Platinum support team at IT Genius. We are business consultants as well as providing professional IT support for Google Workspace. So we can help you out with you know, business processes and recommending apps and other bits and pieces that Google support don't. Now, fundamentally, you wanna make sure that your mail flow for your business is protected with your DNS settings. Now, DNS gets a bit scary for business owners because it's very technical and it's not really the kind of thing that you should be doing yourself. But it is important that you have someone who knows what they're doing getting it set up correctly for you. Now, we've actually created a DNS guide here at IT Genius. There's a 30 minute guide on our YouTube channel and that actually shows you exactly how you should be configuring DNS correctly. And so you should have someone who knows what they're doing, doing this. I'm not suggesting you do it as a business owner. I'm suggesting you have someone who knows what they're doing, do this and go through this guide and set up DNS correctly. Now, here's some of the features that you need to set up. You need to set up DMARC, you need to set up DKIM, you need to set up your SPF. And these are all basically DNS protocols that make sure that people can't spam you and you can't spam other people. Now, that's all explained in that video that I just opened up there on our website, or you can search our channel for DNS and you'll find the guide there as well. But if right now your account is actually suspended and you're unable to access your account, well, the easiest way to get access to that is by either contacting Google support or working with IT Genius support, we should be able to get your account switched on pretty much straight away. Now, if you're not yet a customer of IT Genius or you don't yet have your billing subscribed through IT Genius, this is the exact kind of scenario which would make sense for you to transfer your billing to us. Now, it doesn't cost you any extra to do that. You basically get access to the same street prices that Google give, or sometimes even better because we get access to off-market discounts from time to time. But what does happen is we have the ability to get into the back-end administration of your account, even if you are locked out. And let me tell you, we have over 25,000 users under management. We have thousands of businesses that we look after all over the world. And it always happens. <laughs> it always happens at Friday afternoon at 6 p.m. as well. But we have customers and it always seems to be at least one or two a month who get locked out of their account for some reason, whether it's spamming, whether something got messed up, whether their partner and business partner is divorcing them and decided to lock them out of the admin account. That happens at least once a quarter. These things happen. And sometimes you get locked out of your account. Being able to pick up the phone, call IT Genius and say, hey, I've been locked out of my account. Our team have a identity verification process, of course, to make sure it's actually you, uh, but then they can actually, with one button, get you access to your super administrator again in your Google Workspace account without having to go to the Google support queues and try and find your way through that. Now, interestingly, from time to time, you'll call Google support and try and get access to your account. And what they'll actually do is they'll say, hey, can you just log into your admin panel and give us a six digit support code? <laughs> which you can't because you're locked out. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you can run into a problem. So we've got other ways of verifying who you are, uh, you know, text messages and phone numbers and whatnot. And so uh, that will help you have a second layer of protection just in case something does happen. And let me tell you, you never think about that until you've got 20 employees who can't work because your Google account's been shut down and no one can get into Drive and no one can get into email and customers are calling you wondering what's going on, but you can't even send an email out to your customers because you can't get into your email. If you don't want that nightmare, take advantage of our transfer in offer. It should be linked on any of the videos under our channel. Otherwise, go to our channel homepage, click on the links, and you'll get access to that there. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And if you need more help with your Google Workspace account, there's four ways that we can help. Number one, join our free community group where others in the community help support each other with the Google Workspace accounts. And I'm in there from time to time answering questions as well. Number two, take advantage of our free transfer in offer to get a bunch of additional value for your Workspace account just for transferring your billing over to IT Genius. Number three, you can take advantage of a free consultation if you qualify or an IT systems check and audit for everything technology in your business. And number four, if you need help right now, you can either join our concierge program or book a one-time fix-it service to get support from our professional support team for everything workspace and the Google ecosystem. See you in the next one.